Hey guys, Ryan Kleckner with Gun University, and we're out at the range with the Breda 1301 Comp. This is such a fast, smooth shooting shotgun. I really like it. They call it the blink system with the blink action. It's so fast, you can blink and miss it. This thing is amazing. It's just smooth. It cycles crazy fast. I think they claim it can fire four rounds in a second. I don't think my trigger finger is that fast, but it is just amazingly fast. Smooth gun. Nice fit and finish on everything. I really, really like it. Let me show you how the thing runs here. It is a hoot to shoot. This is perfect for tactical, three gun, home defense, any scenarios like that. The gun just runs. Now there's one complaint that some people have about this gun, and I kind of do too, that you gotta be careful with, is some of these oversized controls are awesome, right? Oversized bolt handle here, oversized bolt release, really cool safety. I wish more guns did this, by the way. The safety is at the front of the trigger guard. So if I want to take the safety off, there it is, it's off. I can have my finger in a safe position. I don't have to reach back to get the safety. It's already right there. They thought a lot of this out, but this right here, this oversized bolt release can be a potential problem. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and throw a round in there and let's put one in the magazine. Actually, let's go ahead and put two in the magazine. The handle's down in the front now because we released the bolt. We have two shells in the magazine, one shell in the chamber. Now, everything's fine, gun's gonna work great. You can even press this action button here and it will advance one shell onto the lifter for me, not a problem. The issue here is with this lever, if you press the back side of the lever, it can actually make the gun jam up and not work. Now what they did is they designed this so that you don't have to unload it by cycling all the shells through the chamber. You can actually just put your finger up there, press the back side of the lever and look at that, it feeds the shell right into your hand so you can unload the magazine. Neat feature, but I didn't need it to be designed on the gun and I think it poses this problem. If I don't have my fingers in there to catch up and that thing gets hit, you bump into a wall, you press it in your hand, watch what happens. Look at that, it shot two rounds down on the lifter. What's that gonna do? You can fire the round on the chamber, but look at that, those two shells are gonna be stuck on the lifter. Now to fix this, what I do is I like to hold the bolt to the rear. I like to reach in and push that front shell back into the magazine tube. If I could reach in there and get it. There you go, and then let that next one go ahead and follow in. Now the gun's back in action, but you gotta be careful with that. So Beretta's had a fix for this. What they did is they came out with a small piece that goes underneath this. You have to unscrew the bolt catch, or the bolt release, I'm sorry, and the piece goes in the back and it disables that function. So if you're gonna get one of these and that's a concern to you, make sure it already has that piece installed or you can pick it up from Beretta. You wanna check out the full review of the shotgun, including why there's not a full length mag tube. There's actually a reason why it doesn't come with one. And we cover all of this, including comparing it to other shotguns at gununiversity.com. Check out the link in this video.